Netflix, you, money, pocket, go. All right. All right. Let's talk about penis enlargement. Go. This is my favorite story of the day <laughs> Me because too. I I didn't know it was happening. So um, <laughs> I didn't know. It, <laughs> now you know. <laughs> in Indonesia's uh, Papua, mm -hmm. uh, men who undergo penis enlargement procedures will not be allowed to join the police force. Well, obviously. Right. That's because uh, it causes a hindrance during training. But look. <laughs> that that in and of itself is hilarious and interesting, right? But then you learn about what their penis enlargement procedure is, and hold, it's mind-blowing. Hold, hold. Prepare to get your mind blown in a second, okay? But first, I love that. It, it, apparently, it works so well. It's so gigantic that it hinders their police training. Like, Jesus, what is this thing? And can we get it out of Indonesia and to the rest of the world, right? right? Not that I need it, of course. I'm cool. I'm just saying for my <laughs> other brothers, you know, trying to help some of them out. So uh, so I thought instantly, my ass. It's No, it's not a hindrance. That's ridiculous. They're using it as an excuse. And, of course, it turns out it's from this particular region. And, and, and they've been doing this uh, for a long time, this Papua. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to pronounce it either. And, and so it's a way of discriminating against that region because they don't want people from that region. And, but I love their excuse. Your cocks are simply too large. We can't have you in the police force, right? Now, if they use that excuse against me, I might be like, well, what am I going to do? Okay. Guilty as charged. <laughs> no. Now, how do they do it? Okay, so what they do is they wrap their penis with leaves from the gatal gatal itchy tree, so it swells up like it's been stung by a bee. Oopsie doopsie. That's just wrong. A little less appealing now. That's definitely a <laughs> hindrance during police training, because you're like, oh, I've got to go in the corner and scratch a little bit. <laughs> but they didn't use the scratch excuse. They used the too big excuse. Okay. So apparently the itchy tree is not something I want to wrap around my member. <laughs> okay, so but another thing is, Apparently, it swells up like it's been stung by a bee. That's not the kind of enlargement anybody's interested in. <laughs> I don't, is, that, is that the direction people want to go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sounds really uncomfortable. Not only for the guys, but then think about it for the girls. Right, and it, it yeah, that's true. <laughs> Wouldn't that cause her to itch, too? I don't, I don't even want to think about it. That doesn't sound fun. I, okay. I'm, a, I'm against this penis enlargement procedure. <laughs> but would Dr. 90210 be in favor of this because this is homeopathic, isn't it? Oh, that's a good, gatal, gatal. It's totally homeopathic. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. So, high five. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> By the way, just on a little tangent, uh -huh. every single time he tried to high five you, you had no idea what was going on. I, I, what is high five? What, what, no, I don't. I don't want to high-five people in the middle of an interview. It's crazy. Yeah, you would leave He's, them hanging for at least three seconds. I was like, like uh, <laughs> super awkward, okay. <laughs> okay, and nothing against him. I really like the guy, really. Yeah. Uh, it was just, it was funny, that's all. <laughs> okay. And I, Wendy wouldn't believe me that he was in favor of natural solutions. He for, talked about it throughout the entire interview. So I made her watch the interview because <laughs> she really respects him. Uh -huh. Because, like, she watches Dr. 90210. I had no idea. Oh, right? that's funny. She's like, you had Dr. 90210 on the show? <laughs> okay. I think uh, of the guests she's been most impressed by. She's like, yeah, yeah, Greenspan, Kerry, Ted Kennedy, who cares, right? She's like, Dr. 90210. <laughs> Uh, oh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Do you remember? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kawasaki. She, yeah, yeah. She was like, holy cow, why didn't you tell me? And then today, Peter mm -hmm. Buffett. She's oh, like, she was excited about yeah, that? Yeah, she was totally excited about Peter Buffett. Anyway, uh, so uh, I made her watch the interview, uh, which she wanted to watch anyway. And she's like, hmm, yeah, he does seem a little into these uh, natural products. <laughs> She's like, uh, hey, what is he, trying to sell them or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay.